hi guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to try the powder before your foundation method i don't know if you guys have seen it but it pretty much started out with a youtuber um testing that theory her name is jackie Ina, and a lot of other youtubers did it um i never felt like i needed to because I just feel like okay that's not gonna work for me um, just the whole process of the powder before your foundation to me seems like uh, I just felt like it was going backwards because you know it's uh, foundation first and then um, your powder um, liquid and then powder but for this video I wanted to try something fun I wanted to try something new and you're gonna see my honest reaction because even right now as I'm filming this video I'm having second thoughts like I don't feel like this is gonna work I feel like my makeup is not gonna look fleeky I feel like I'm gonna look patchy and dry and all that but it's really supposed to help you if you have oily skin like I do y'all know I use Milk of Magnesia. I don't have any Milk of Magnesia on today because I wanna try out this method. So I'm just gonna apply my primer and I'm just gonna see how it, you know, I'm just gonna wing it. Let's see how it goes. So let go. I'm playing with you. For primers, I have my Becca. It's the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. Um, yeah, I've heard that this is really, really good, so that's why I bought it. However, it doesn't work for my skin like a lot of other primers, but whatever. Um, and I also have this, the Pore Professional uh, Benefit Primer. I'm going to use both. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this and then I'm gonna use some of this. So, yeah. And to apply my primer, I'm just gonna use this brush instead of my fingers because I've heard um, that you should always use a brush to apply your primer instead of your fingers because you know there's always dirt on your fingers, there's always like germs and all of that stuff and it, it actually makes sense so that's why I decided to use um, the brush instead uh, I can just get it out okay did I finish this maybe I did okay there there we go so I'm just gonna use a little bit I'm not gonna use too much Alrighty, then I'm gonna use my brush to just blend this out. And primers are very important. You need to use a primer always, always. Use a primer before you apply any product on your face. It's very, very important. So what the primer does, it helps to create like a barrier um, between your skin and the foundation or the products that you apply on your skin and it also helps your makeup to last long but yeah all right so once that's blended I'm just gonna give it a few minutes to get tacky for it to actually do what it's supposed to do rather than going right in with my foundation okay so for powder remember we're applying we're trying out the powder first before foundation so for the powder I'm gonna use the air spun powder it's very 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 good so I'm just gonna apply that um, I'm gonna apply that right now And I'm not really sure how much you're supposed to apply, but I'm just gonna do a generous amount. So 
I'm just applying the powder everywhere that I applied um, my primer, which is all over my face. Okay, that's how we're looking. We're looking a little bit ashy, but I'm hoping with the foundation we'll fix that. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use my Fenty foundation. And I'm gonna use my flat top dome brush from Sephora to blend it out. So I'm actually gonna have this on for a while to test it out properly. I'm actually gonna wear it for a few hours just to see. Because with the Milk of Magnesia, I don't really get oily. And if I do, it's like hours and hours later, so. I wanna see if this method is better or if it if it really works. I don't know if I'm gonna like try this again, but if it does work, I'll really like make it a part of my makeup routine. Because the milk of magnesia, to be honest, it's not really good for your skin. And I've been wanting to find a, another primer that really helps and that will be really good for my skin so that I can stop using it, but I just can't find it. And I always take my foundation and bring it down to my neck. Yeah. So far, my skin really, really looks matte. So far, I'm kind of surprised. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna use my Fenty concealer. And y'all already know I'm just gonna apply it everywhere that I would normally highlight. And I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend it out. I don't know how it's looking on camera, but damn, it's looking good. To me, at least. I don't know what y'all are seeing. Once that's blended, I'm gonna actually go in with my airspun powder again, and I'm gonna use that to highlight. I'm gonna use it to set my highlighted areas, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But y'all know what I mean know what I mean? For my all-around 
face powder. I'm gonna use my black radiant. Y'all know this is my ride or die. Y'all know this is my ride or die black radiant. I have to get a new one soon. But yeah, I'm gonna use this to set my all over face, all the areas that I didn't highlight. If you have oily skin, you should really try this. Like, try the powder before your foundation method. You should really try it. I don't know. I might. I might have been wrong all this time. Like, why am I just now trying this? Okay, so for glow, I'm gonna take my micellin palette and I'm gonna apply these two shadows. Yeah. You know, that's the only two shades I go for in this palette and it's a highlight. Like every time I feel like I want to switch it up and use a different palette or use a different um, highlight for glowing, I can't. I can't. Like I'm the type of person that if something works for me and I love it, that's what I'm sticking to. It's so hard to try new things when I love something so much, but I'm, I'm definitely going to try other highlighters, no doubt. I know probably, maybe you guys are tired of seeing me trying this, but oh my god. Can you see, can you see that? Do you, do you see that? Like, can you see why I love this palette? Oh my god. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh God, oh God. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, I could cry right now. <laughs> no, sir, we're fooling her. What do you guys think? Um, do you think my makeup looks better when I apply the Milk of Magnesia or do you think it looks better when I apply the powder before the foundation? So, question of the day, does it really, really work? Does the powder before your foundation, does it really, really work? Wow, I must say, I am impressed. I love it. I love how my makeup looks. I love the fact that I don't look greasy or it doesn't look like I'm getting greasy. I love how it looks. I don't know why I haven't tried this before. Like, normally if I don't use Milk of Magnesia, as soon as I get done with my complete face, my skin would already start to look greasy. And the fact that there's no grease, like my face still looks mad and if i do get greasy i just apply more powder to set it but i'm really really impressed i see a big difference in my skin because i have extremely extremely oily skin so if i don't use a milk of magnesia and i use a regular primer once i get done with my complete face i would already start to look oily so i don't know you be the judge you be the judge but i'm telling you this method really really works i recommend it i love it and i feel like if you have oily skin you should at least try this at least once don't forget to follow me on snapchat don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll have my handles uh somewhere up here um on the screen i'll put them up um up on the screen so you guys can check me out don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you on my next video bye guys